Another exciting call finished. Hopefully that one kind of has a follow up, which will be nice. Welcome to a brand new weekly vlog, or I don't know how, how long this vlog is gonna be, but I'm getting my hair done today. I'm going blonde. I'm not going blonde, but I'm getting a fair few highlights put in. Kind of like lighten it up, you know, summer surfer vibes. I don't think I want anything too harsh around the front, but I definitely want it to look lighter from the front. So we'll see. I'm just gonna be like, what can you do? Oh, I haven't felt well all week. My boyfriend was here and I was literally just like lying on the sofa. I was so ill. So I've got a vlog to edit. I don't know if I even want to edit last week's vlog. I'm going to see what's in it. I really don't think it's anything of substance. I don't think it's anything fun. Kind of really fancy like getting in the car and filming a come drive with me. I have been disgustingly unproductive this morning and I will be today because I'm going to go get my, get my hair done. So maybe I'll show you a bit more. Oh, I was supposed to be airdropping something to my laptop. Um, I don't know what it is. I couldn't find my SD card, so I didn't start editing my vlog. And then... If I leave editing the podcast into TikToks literally more than an hour, I won't do it. And I've got two to do, so... The fuck? What's going on with my... My brain at the moment? Let's fill in our journal. You're not busy, you're just unproductive. That's this week's podcast. And fuck me, is it true? I'm just unproductive. Okay. It's Friday. What is my intention for today? It was to be productive, but it's not now. So what's my intention for today? Have a productive evening. Because I don't deserve a chill one now. If anyone journals, when it's like, what is your intention for today? What kind of thing do you put? Because I always feel like mine's either be, to be productive or to chill. Like, I don't know a good intention otherwise. Like, can your inten intention for the whole day be to drink like three litres of water alongside like other stuff you have to do? Okay, double Ds. Okay, does anyone have any tips for this, right? So obviously I work on my phone. Um, if I need to post something, if I need to make a TikTok, posting Instagram stories, if I need to talk to my manager, if, other than editing or filming, anything I need to do can literally be done on my phone. How do I, like going on Instagram to see like where the event is that the brand's invited me to, I get caught up on Instagram. Going on TikTok to try, try and find a transition sound, get caught scrolling on TikTok, literally going on WhatsApp to like answer my manager, oh, then I'm on Snapchat, then I'm on Instagram, then I'm on TikTok. I don't know how to use this thing productively. Like, do I get a work phone? But what do I do on my work phone? Download Instagram and TikTok. Do you know what I mean? It's so hard when your work is also the two apps that distract you most. Like, I don't know. I can't find a good way to go around that. I mean, I haven't really tried, but it's just like discipline, I guess, isn't it? But it's not that I don't even have discipline. I just genuinely do get so distracted. But I suppose when you realise you're getting distracted in that moment, you need to just like stop it, don't you? But... My thing on my journal every single day is what obstacles I might need, need to overcome, distractions and screen time. I think I want like desk notepads, like a to-do list, just any time I think of something or someone emails me, bang, write down. Like I'll forget like, oh that person needed my insights or just like anything that will like happen throughout the day. I'm like, oh yeah, I need to do that, totally forgot. And I want something here to just go, write it down and not think it. skincare with you with the lighting and that's horrible and I realized that I obviously haven't shown you my hair yet so my camera overheated and then just like died I think from being overheated but I don't know how obvious it's going to be now in this dark light but I think she has done such a good job so I just went for like I said I just wanted my hair to feel like overall lighter like a lighter color not so like jet black and I feel like she smashed it. I've not actually seen the back, but this is what the back looks like. 
can't really see it. Um, but I'm really happy with it. I'll show you better in the morning. There is quite a big highlight this side. And there's not really one this side. But in a way, I actually quite like that. Um, it feels a tad more natural. I have just downloaded this book as an audiobook because in the year I've had it, I have never got around to reading it. This is hardly wor Working Hard or Hardly Working by Grace Beverly. How to achieve more, stress less and feel fulfilled. That is literally what I'm trying to do with my life. I don't know why I'm not reading this, but I also don't trust myself to read it. So I've downloaded the audiobook. It's six hours long and that's going to be my plan tonight. Not finish the audiobook, obviously, but it's not actually that early anymore. Actually, it's like nine o'clock. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to like colour, tidy my room, just like chill, to be honest. I know I said I was going to have a productive evening, but it's a Friday night. Whatever. I don't want to. But I'm about to go and try Skin and Me's moisturiser and cleanser this isn't an ad but i might potentially be working with them in september on this um if i like it so i've got my testers and we're gonna go try them out for the first time So I actually ended up booking a Pilates class today, so I've just popped this on. I can't decide if I want to wear this. This is the tennis skirt from Cotton On. And I think it's really cute and I don't want to wear like tight, tight shorts. Um, I'm just not vibing with them at the moment. So I think this works. I don't think I look too extra. Then I've actually just got like on a lounge bralette and this white top because it's literally see-through. And again, I don't really want to just wear a sports bra. I'm gonna go sit and get on with some work, just brush my teeth. Gonna go and edit the podcast TikToks. I can't decide whether to do this week's because it's Saturday. So I might do like two or three um, just to upload today. And then to get on with next week's. Okay, it is 10 to 11. <clears throat> I need to leave at like 11-ish. So I'm gonna go put my hair up properly. Okay, it looks literally the exact same in this light. It's not, it is lighter really like that side. I like it when I put it up like this and all the lightness comes through. There's like bits at the back. So I literally have got halfway through this podcast episode, but I've made eight TikToks and I've put like my own captions on them because I think when I'm watching something, if there's something else to focus on, people's attention span so short, so it's mine. When there's something else to focus on, like text on the screen going through, I find it easier to sit and watch. So I've done that for all of them and I'm actually really happy with them. I'm not going to bother doing this week's because this week's over and I want to post them during the week. So I feel like I've just missed my chance. That's my fault. I fucked up. So now I've learned. And it's also good sitting in and doing like this because then I realise how long it takes me to do it. And one of the things I'm trying to do at the moment is if something's a big goal of mine, like this, don't not put captions on so I can do it quicker. Like, let it take the time that it takes because it will be worth it. Okay, I'm going to bring my camera in and I've brought my little tripod in depending the type of people in the class. Or how many? Because I only booked on last night at like 11 o'clock and there was obviously still a space and there's only three. So maybe there's two or it's just me. Or maybe I was the third. So we're gonna go in now and see. So you might get some footage if you don't. Beat me up in the comments and tell me to get more confidence. So this is a really good one for getting the coordination of breathing and moving at the same time. And getting your concentration and focus really quickly. Because if you don't, you're not walk. So, <laughs> if you don't, you're going to fall off, that's it. <laughs> so, use your hands to support you. It doesn't need to be a, like a white knuckle grip. I'm going to start to slide my feet away. So, my heels just touch a little bit back behind the 
head. So it's the back of the legs that work to return the carriage, the front of the legs to send the carriage away. So it's your quads, your kneecaps drawing up at the front. And then can you get the back of your leg, your hamstring, to work a little bit harder to bring it back in? So you're working with the spring, that looks really good. It's quite different, isn't it? You yeah. can sort of ride the spring, or you can do that extra little bit of work. And I can really see that your feet are working, which is fantastic. <laughs> that's that feeling of, that's what I mean by, can you feel like your foot wants to suck up off the bar? Don't tell me this is normal. My camera's even shaking from me trying to hold it. Can you see me? That looks fake. That looks like I'm purposely jolting. I've just got back. I had to go to Sainsbury's because I wanted crisps to eat with my lunch. Otherwise, it's just boring. And I wanted a planner. So I thought, while I'm out, I need food so badly. That's not my mom. Let me down this. Okay, I've stopped the scary shakes. I've eaten probably a bit too much food. So I'm going to finish. I've got 26 minutes of this podcast to go through. But I only want about two or three more clips. I'm going to do that. But let me show you what I got from Sainsbury. So I did actually get a diffuser for in this room. Just to bring fresh vibes. As in like fresh smelling vibes. I want to walk in and be like, ah, I'm going to Sugar Babes with Amy tonight. <laughs> Pride weekend in Margate, and there's sugar, ba sugar babes on it, Dreamland. So, um, <clears throat> chiching. Let me show you the desk pad, weekly desk pad I bought. I feel like I hit the nail on the head. So this is from Sainsbury's. Now my one non-negotiable was that I wanted the days of the week to go like Monday, Tuesday. So I had a list. So I got like 9 a.m., 10 a.m. So like it was a list of time order. Now. These do go side to side, but I'm just going to have to write them like first task here, second there, like write my form in a list. Because if you start writing like this, you won't put anything on it. But I really liked it because so down the side it has like, obviously Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, blah, blah, blah. Here it says priority, which just before I left, I was thinking, do you know what I need to do? I need to give each day of the week like a priority so I know like what I'm focusing on that week because like here we are at the end of the week and I haven't given YouTube a day this week so I don't know where my SD cards are I've lost them all and now it's Saturday so it's like what am I doing and then which was really important because I wanted to buy a separate I wanted like a week planner and then a separate to-do list so that whenever I thought of to-dos I could just write them down and then I could delegate them this has it on here which is brilliant so I can write them down as the week goes on tick them add more and I feel like I'm just really liking this I have my calendar on like google calendar that i put my calls and events in for like prolonged events and stuff i want a weekly one i can see so i'm not gonna procrastinate i mean i'm not gonna multitask i'm gonna finish what i started which is the tiktoks um and then i am gonna maybe sit down and plan next week and tomorrow a little bit Snack. Let me see some. You are the wifey type, baby. You could be one. Let me change your life. I could show you many reasons, different seasons. Hop in my bag and I stay in it. Hit from the back and I stay in it. He is not damn, don't play with her. She is not damn, don't play with her. That was a nightmare. I should have just gone back in the house because I imported three videos off of this camera. Sorry, this lighting is not cute. Um, there's only four minutes left remember i said i've got four minutes i'll go change my sd card and i'll come back to you when i'm getting ready well obviously i forgot that i've lost all my sd cards so that was a stupid thing to say um so i left stuff importing onto my laptop while i was getting ready so that i could vlog afterwards and then i kind of forgot which two videos i imported because one of them was half an hour long and the other one was 18 minutes so i was like i only need to do like two i don't need to do loads um and then i forgot to delete them off my camera properly off my laptop like for, on, while I was on my laptop and now I've forgotten which ones they were to even do it so that was stupid and pointless anyway we move on I'm doing a McDonald's run for me and Amy so me and Amy well me and Amy can't even really give you a milk bang because I've only got four minutes on this SD card you know we live and we learn I'm gonna go do a McDonald's run for me and Amy it's five o'clock she told me we'd leave at five and she's not even started getting ready so I'm gonna go get food go to hers Hopefully by the time I get there, she'll be kind of ready. We can eat and we can go. We're gonna go to the Sugar Babes. It's Pride 
It's fucking boiling is what it is. I just deeply offended Amy by saying I didn't know who the sugar... What? <laughs> um, just wanted to know who the sugar babes were and Amy was like, you fucking joking. Um, turns out I know every sugar song. A sugar song? <laughs> turns out we're gonna have a great night. Sugar babes have some lit songs. Although I think I'm gonna have to leave my camera, like I said, because I don't have any storage. Margot is fucking round. There was no chance we were getting in Sunday. So what are we doing, going back to Old Town? I think so, mate, yeah. Oh, I'm in with pain. Hi, vlog. <laughs> I thought, I have been in your, um... Well, we didn't type Beyonce. Yeah, that's generally what I was thinking. <laughs> Probably. Um, we're still friends. Yeah, we've come out. Like, we want a waltz, we want a... Oh, waltz her, hell yeah. Well, that's what I mean, like, do we just go in Dreamland? But I feel like if we go in and it's dead... Well, why would it be dead, be though? Out. It's been open since four. I need to put my sunglasses away, otherwise they'll go. Am I going to drop this? I normally always film, so now I think we're going to friends we are having another clear out this is hopefully the final one i'm gonna be ruthless ruthless even more ruthless and it's going we're doing a car boot on next saturday now because we've got so much stuff and i have so much stuff to buy for traveling and like bits clothes and bits and stuff i need for traveling that i'm like okay let's just be ruthless let's get rid and I'll, I can't be asked to do it on Depop, that does take way too long, but I'm going to take it to a car boot and hopefully even if I make like £100, that's well worth it and can pay for some of my stuff that I need. Because your girl is very quickly running out of money, let me tell you that. And the reason I'm doing this is because yesterday I like went through my wardrobe trying to find stuff to wear going out and I like just didn't like anything I was putting on. Like this dress that I've kept four times every time I've gone to do a clear out for the last like two years and I'm like but maybe one day I'll wear it and yesterday it was a perfect day for it, it was boiling hot, it was pride so I wanted to wear something bright and I was like do you know what this is a perfect chance to test how I'd wear that out and I put it on and I was like no this isn't me so we're getting rid. There's also a gorgeous top that I love that I tried on with literally every pairing of bottoms I have and it didn't match anything. I'm like see I should get rid of this then and I, or then I was like or I should just buy something to match it and I was like how do you decide?
big guess for us before it gets better, but I have my SD cards, but now I've literally deleted everything on this camera from last week, so this needs to get finished. Look at this room. Everyone's doing their bit. Everybody's clearing out because obviously we're moving soon, so. It is now Sunday evening. I just like cleaned up what you last seen and that's pretty much all I've done. Um, and yeah, and I'm just gonna say, I actually enrolled in a level three mindfulness course to like help my education for the podcast, my knowledge, which is really exciting, but I haven't had the chance to sit down and probably have um, a look through the first like file. Yeah, I've looked through like half of it. So I'm gonna go read the other half and kind of like maybe look at my first assessment, see how that works. And yeah, I've got a spin class tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Really fancy lifting some weights afterwards, but we'll see what happens. And I'll see if I'll pick you back up because tomorrow's not that interesting, but I'll close off the vlog tomorrow.